Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Mom, it's okay. Mom, there's no need to be so sad. I mean, when's Grandma's funeral? Her funeral starts at 3 o'clock, so I'm inviting Christine across the street and Mary. And I just better make sure she can still make it. And Suzanne's coming, so, you know. Okay, Mary, the car's ready. Great, thanks, Bradley. You're welcome. Oh, there's Wolves. Hi, Wolves. Hi. <laughs> um... So, are you guys still able to come to Mom's funeral today? Um, yes, I can make it to your mother's funeral. Um, Bradley and I will be there. Well, I will be there. Um, but I don't know if Bradley can, but he has to pick up coming from school since it's about 3 o'clock. So, I'll be there, don't worry. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Rose. Did you really come all this way just to ask me if I was still coming to your fun Mom's funeral? No, I didn't. I just... We we're coming back to the house today to do a final cleaning and stuff because, like, yeah, just make sure everything else is gone that needs to be gone. And then we are taking, and then we're going to the funeral later. Okay, oh my god. Well, anyways, I have to go to work, so I'm so sorry. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, um, Wolves. Oh, Christine, hi. Yeah, I'm I'm coming to your fu mom's funeral, don't worry, but there was something I need to t tell you. What? Um, so you see that little pink bike right here? Yeah? Um, well, the other day I saw Francesca go into your yard and take it, and, well, no one was home, and now she uses it. I saw her use it. What? Yeah. Oh my god, we f totally forgot about it with all the snow that we've had. I know. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Well, there isn't much that you can do. Um, what was it? I guess what you could do is, um, take it back. I'm gonna confront her. That's just the thing, I don't know if you should confront her. Oh! <sighs> well, I don't know, I mean... I don't think they're home though, unfortunately, because their car is not in their driveway. What? I think they're out there. I'll just be busy in the kitchen. My, my husband won't put this in, I mean, boyfriend, because he loves baking. I'll go to the front, you go to the side. Okay. Ah, it must have been them knocking on the door. Ah, Wolves! Francesca, come outside. Francesca, I don't know what you're doing. Why are you stealing from us? I don't know what you're talking about, I just bought this motorbike. Well, ma not Mary, Christine said that you took it out of our driveway. Francesca, we might have forgotten about this, but you should have asked us before. Maybe I would have been willing to let you have it if you needed it, but I don't think so now. Please, Rose, please, Rose Mary. Rose Mary? I'm not Rose Mary, I'm Rose. Please, let me keep it, please. Sebastian takes the... Our um truck to work, and I have no other way to get around now. I had my car, but then it got stolen. I know you did, Francesca, but I don't know. I mean, if you can prove yourself that you did your story, then maybe I will. Please, Mary. Pl I mean, Rose, please. <sighs> please. Oh, look, it's one of your, my new rides right now. Oh. That is my husband. Hey honey, I just thought I'd park our DeLorean in here since we won't be very long. Yeah, Mary said they won't be back till later. What's going on? It seems to be that Francesca has stolen our little bike here. Yeah. Francesca? I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. Hmm, okay, well. We should just let it go. Like, let her keep it. <sighs> Fine, you can keep it, Francesca. Just next time ask, please. Yes, I will. Can I take one in your DeLorean? No. Oh, fine, I'm stuck in the house all day. 
Do I have work or something to do? Yeah. Okay, guys, let's do our final prep work here. <laughs> what was this? Things should try to take that china cabinet. No, I don't think. I just have to do some packing up. Okay. Okay, well, so what are we gonna do? I don't know! I don't know! Maybe we should check the backyard actually and see what we need to take out. <laughs> it's just so saucy and empty! Hmm, well, not much that we can really take out of here. <laughs> what are we gonna do, girls? Uh, we just have to look and pack up some stuff. Okay, let me go get some boxes. Here's some boxes. I mean, oh, let me get. I got the. Um, let me put all this away. Okay, most of it's in here. Okay. <sighs> Whoa, I can't really pack the backyard. Can't? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so boring, kind of, just waiting for mom and dad to finish. I know, Alyssa. Like, I just want, I wish grandma didn't die. I know, then we wouldn't have to be doing all this, but I know, I just wish she was okay. I know, Alyssa. I mean, there's just nothing to do here. I know. Well, there's not much left up here. Are you girls ready to get going soon? We're leaving soon? Yeah. It's 11.30 now, so we were going to get lunch and then start getting ready for the funeral. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, we can go. <laughs> Mom. Okay, girls, let's get going. Okay. Okay, honey, I'm going to my car. Okay. Okay, guys, let's go. Bye, Hunter. He's off. <laughs> Bye, house. Bye, house. <laughs> Waiter. Okay, guys, are we ready to go in? Just after lunch, to go see Grandma for our first viewing process. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mom. Oh, Mom, I hate seeing you like this. Grandma, I miss you, and I love you so much. Yes, Elaine, you'll be missed. Yes, Grandma. <laughs> Three o'clock. Hi. Hi. Hey, Darren. Hey, Suzanne, let me climb in. This time we are not leaving the garage open. No, the kids have a key to get in. Thank you so much for picking me up again, guys. You're welcome. I'll go in. Oh my god, I hope they show up soon. Oh, the door is opening. Uh, hi. Oh, Rose, I'm so sorry if I'm late. Just, I had to uh, ask Bradley to pick up Kevin from school and, uh, no problem, Mary. I'm so glad you were able to come. Yes, I had to come. I mean, 
We've only been neighbors with you guys for seven months, but I just knew I had to come. Don't close the doors yet. We're still waiting on a few more guests. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so sad. Whoa. Oh, hi, guys. Come on in. Is this everyone? Um, yeah. We just saw a small funeral. Oh, man. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of Elaine Durrington. Elaine Durrington has had a very happy life. She has met majority of her friends here on her street where she lived, on 25 Columbia Lane. Majority of her neighbors have come to support her in her for her final resting place. Some of the, all of these neighbors she has known pretty much well for 20 plus years, and she is very, um, and they are very grateful for each other's friendship. I would like to invite Rose Dwington up to say, share a few words about her mother. Oh, Mom, you're such a good mom to me. I wouldn't be who I am without your support and guidance. I know when I first married my first husband, Dan, that I learned from that mistake and I have become a better person. And I'm so happy that I was able to make you proud by moving out with my husband and raising two daughters with him now. You are an amazing mother, and I'm so sad that your time has come so fast, but I have to ha have peace with it, knowing that you are not having to suffer from cancer. Elaine, you are a wonderful mother-in-law to me. You are an amazing mother to your daughter, and you treated me and my daughter Alyssa like we were a part of the family since Alyssa was born. Thank you for everything you have done and for providing us with the house for the last year and everything. You were an amazing person and such. And I hope you can rest in peace. Grandma, you are an amazing grandma to me. For my whole life, you and I did it so much together and you were so amazing to me growing up. I'm sad that I have to live the rest of my life without you, but I hope that you're proud of me and can watch me from above. Grandma, thank you for being an amazing grandma to me the last year and a half of me being in your family. You were amazing to me and much better than some of my own family members were to me. I'm sad that you are gone, but I'm hoping you can rest in peace and be pain free and happy. <laughs> Towards the end of the funeral, so may Elaine Dewington rest in peace. Oh my god, thank you guys so much for coming to my mom's funeral. You guys have been such close friends to my mom and I, and well, it's officially gonna be the end of me living on Lane now because mom's gone and you guys are here. Like, you guys are still living on the lane, but... <sighs> yes. Well, anytime, Wolves. I mean, your mom was such an important person in your life. Yeah. She was an amazing neighbor, too, to us. She did so much for us, and she did so much for the community. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And trust me, Wolves, I went through the same thing as you. I know exactly how you feel. I lost my dad quick, too, and it was a lot. And my mom. She died from cancer. I know. I can relate to you a lot, Suzanne. Just know, Rose, I'm always here for you. Thanks, Suzanne. You're welcome. Bye.